When you first initially receive your ANOVA dual carrier envelope, you're going to be receiving them flat. They will have creases already, in which case you need to lay on a flat desk and you're going to have to, with the stone side up, fold the creases slightly. Each side would have two creases. to give the box dimension. You also want to remember the little safety tabs. Just give them a little fold. They are creased as well. Moving on, when you're placing your generic B2B customer brochure. You're going to remember to lay it so that the top is aligned with the bottom crease of the top. Now with that being said, you will get your Innova customer brochure spacer. And these two also have creases. So you need to fold towards yourself so that you are always reading that copy. So there are two creases that you need to fold. Like so. Then what you need to do is you need to set that so that the flat part is up against the brochure and the empty part where you can read the type is away from the brochure. With that being said, then the next step is to actually start folding these pieces together. First, you want to fold in the shorter side, then making sure that your safeties are in. You want to fold in the long side, again making sure your safety is in and then the last you want to fold up. Now when you fold up, you are going to notice that these slats are filled. You, all you need to do is pop them out. They are already scored, so it takes two seconds. So once you have that, you're gonna make sure that your top spacers are in to protect the corners, and then you fold down the front so that your tabs slide into those spacers like so. Now with mailing them you also want to use our removable wafers. So you hold the top and the bottom and you have one removable wafer just in the middle that doesn't hurt the graphics. This just keeps it secure. In mailing them, the extra step would be taking your plastic bag so that your strip is face up, taking your carrier and flipping it over so that you just see the clean back and then inserting it all the way tightly against the bottom in the middle. Then what you want to do is you want to peel this and then you're going to want to fold it so that it is taut against the side and then make sure that that is sealed. Now next, you would have received your labels in your template in which case you would uh, print your return address and the address it's going to already on your label. You simply pull the label off. You add it to the front or the side that has no detail whatsoever. And then the next step is actually just adding your postage which goes directly in the corner as such.